Today I'm going to show you how to create these extremely popular split videos that you see on Instagram and TikTok in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get to it. Now we're in DaVinci Resolve Studio. I have my media in here already. First things first, we go into our project settings by either going into the file menu over here or clicking this icon down here in the bottom right. And we change our resolution so we can make it a vertical video. For Instagram and TikTok, that's 1080 by 1920. I leave everything else as default. Hit save. We create a new timeline. So if you're gonna make many of these reels with grids, with split videos, in that case, you might wanna do this in the project level. Or if you're just making one, then you can actually make these changes here in the timeline as well. However, I usually use one project with this setting. We create, let's call this time lapses. Now we have a vertical 16 by nine. So now we go into the edit page. We turn on media pool, effects, and the inspector. So this is what the screen should look like. I go down here and search for an adjustment layer. So on the toolbox, you'll find an adjustment clip. Drag that on. Make sure this is not selected. I want my reel to be 10 seconds. So I'll hit equals 10 and double zero. Enter. So that's up till here. I'll drag the adjustment clip. So now this is a 10 second clip. I want five split videos for this example. So what I'll do is I'll move this layer to video layer number six by holding down option or alt and up arrow key. So now we are in video number six, holding down shift and scrolling down. You can reduce the size of these layers. Next, I will grab my time lapses and put them on video layer one. Drag these up like so. You can hit this icon to fit everything on screen and now we have everything lined up so i want to split all my videos over here so i can select everything w is my shortcut for splitting i'll select the rest the excess hit delete and now we have a 10 second clip with all the video layers one over the other so if i turn off this by hitting d you can see them underneath so how do we make this easy rather than using pngs and things to drag on an adjustment clip is very useful because now we can just apply a grid to this layer. If you go into your open effects and select the adjustment clip, double click on grid and now it's applied over there. Go into effects in the inspector, change your rows to five, column cell minimum is one and drag your line spacing down to zero. So now we have a split of five rows in this vertical video. Next step is to position all these clips in the right place. You can do this by individually moving each and every layer by going into position and the Y position moving it up or down. So let's move this one here. To get rid of this excess over here, which you will need to do when you're doing a four layer and a five layer and above grid. And the three layer, you actually need to zoom in a little bit. We just go to crop bottom and we crop that out. Since this layer is on top, the next layer, once we position it the same way, we don't need to crop the top, just the bottom. We go down to crop bottom and that's it. You can also use the transform tool right here. So we'll just move this one. However, be careful with this because you can move left and right and your X position also changes. So just make sure once you're done, X is on zero, go and crop the bottom as well. So on the last layer, we don't need to crop anything. That's it, turn off the transform handles. Now we have our clip ready. Now all we need to do is simply disable the adjustment clip and let it render and we have a nice split video all right but we need to add some music to this so going back to my music folder which is empty i get most of my music from epidemic sound and once i log in it already knows my youtube channel and what i like and what, from what i have downloaded i just need to listen to it All right, I like this one. So let's download the full mix and drag that into my media pool. Once it's here, I can simply lay it down on my audio track. Once again, at 10 seconds, I can hit W and delete. We now have our music along with the track. To create a fade, simply pull on these little handles over here. That's up at five frames there five frames at the back. Now, before we move on to color correction and exporting our video, I wanna show you this. You can take this adjustment layer and go back into effects. Let's say you wanna make a split video with four rows. You just hit four 
and now you have four rows in there and you can position the videos accordingly if you want three and you'll have three one two and three so it takes about 10 seconds to create an adjustment clip with a grid however if you are doing this every day and uploading reels and split videos every other day you can simply take this adjustment clip and move it into your media pool or better still into your power bin and this way it will be available in all your projects on this computer so now that's there we can call this vertical grid and for example I want to create another one over here and as you can see it's here but this time I want to do let's say four or two or maybe even seven so that's the way you would use these adjustment clips you don't need PNGs or anything like that to drag in and move around from project to project let's delete that now we can move on to the color page and color correct each and every clip in here as we feel like and finally when we're ready to export we go to the deliver page you can choose YouTube but I usually prefer to use the H.264 master give it a name give it a location I'll just put it onto the desktop for now make sure it's H.264 QuickTime you can leave this to automatic or for a 1080p video you would want to restrict this to around 40,000 and for a 4k it would be around 80,000 you can also go down to the advanced setting and turn on force sizing to highest quality as well as force dbr to highest quality however this will increase the file size you can click add to render queue and render and that's it it should take about a few seconds and you're done now let's take a look well that's it for this one why don't you leave your instagram handle down in the comment section below and i'll take a look at your work and uh, as usual please like share and subscribe to this channel see you in the next one i use epidemic sound for my music and if you're interested you can also sign up and get 30 days trial by clicking on the link in the description below uh, you can use this music for your projects, for commercial projects, YouTube videos, whatever you like.